Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This was on how to manage saved eBay sellers. So basically, if you saved an eBay seller and you don't know how you did that, but we'll talk about that near the end. Um, but you want to manage all the sellers you have and you maybe want to delete one or you might want to you know, sign up for the newsletter or whatever it is. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. But before we get going, hit the like button on the on the video. It really helps out our channel and also hit the subscribe and the notification bell uh, so you don't miss out on any other how to videos that come out. OK, so let's get to eBay. So we want to jump onto eBay. Get into your account. Now, once you're signed in, you sign in usually is up the top left and you'll see your sign in just sign in but you might be signed in already like i am now look to the top right for my ebay you can either click on my ebay or click summary i usually click summary it doesn't matter it gets you to the screen you want to get on so now you're going to look to the left menu under my ebay activity is what i'm on and the summary i'm on but i want to go down to saved sellers if i click on that it takes me in here this is all the sellers i have saved on my eBay account, which is great. Now you can do a lot of things here. You can either delete them, you can edit a note. So if you don't have a note or add a note, which they show right here, which is pretty cool, do it and just save and I'll do it. So I just made one up so great items. And he, the person does have great items when they have items up. So you can do it like that. Now you can also see in the middle here, it says when you added them. So you can tell when you added them. And I haven't added one in quite a while. So also, if you look to the far right, you're going to notice you can view seller's items or contact the seller is another link under actions. Now, if the seller has a eBay store, you get an extra option, which under more actions, you click the little down arrow and it tells you can visit the seller's store. It's kind of fun that way, but this is mostly if you want to manage this, you can either delete them add notes so that's kind of you know the whole thing you can do there so there's not a lot of managing like you can sort them or anything like that but it does give you the chance to either delete the ones you don't want or add notes to the ones you like you know like so that's kind of cool or get in contact with them if you need to so it's a great way to manage it now if you want to at the very top on the right here you'll see edit for the whole list if you click on that it says edit seller preferences so if we click on that here it, what this gives you the, so you can do it you can do the store newsletter so if you want to be on everybody's store newsletter if they have one it will check all the boxes of who has those things um, some people don't have one so they're not going to have the option so you can see it here so receive email newsletter directly from the seller with new listings special promotions and other information sellers choose when to send newsletters and may send to each list no more than once per week so if you want to have a newsletter sent from them just check the box and hit save right down here it's very simple to do that and that's kind of the other part you can edit a little bit they don't give you a, I wish they gave you more edit options like I can sort them like by who I like more or the alphabetical would be really nice they do it alphabetical here well let's see I can do that I reversed it so you can do it with that button up there but you know, not as great as I was hoping. Maybe they can add that later. I'll probably email them and say, hey, why don't you spice it up a little bit and make it a little easier. Now, since you know where these save sellers end up and what you can do in the save sellers area so you can manage them some, a little bit, I'm going to show you actually how to add one to it. So sometimes you add them and you don't realize you added them. I've done that. I'm, I'm guilty of it. And some of my clients have done that too. So let's show you how to add one to this list so you can mess around with it too so if you go like to normal let's say we're gonna look for an nes game because i'm big on nes nintendo games are fun okay so let's let's start with donkey kong i want donkey kong so i'm right here i got one minute left maybe we can win it while we're here guys so go in here this seller i don't know who it is but if you look once you go into the product you can look to the right there's the seller information underneath that is save this seller easy peasy just click on the heart and that's it. Now the seller is on your list. So let's see these frauds. Okay, so we're going to go back to our list. I'm just going to go here. I'm going to go down to save sellers like we did before. And there it is. That's the new seller I have saved in my list. Now, if I don't want the seller, I just click delete. And now it says, now it's going to ask me to confirm it, which is fine. I don't mind. Confirm. Yes, I want the seller gone. Boom. And that's it. That's how easy you can you can uh, manage your sellers on eBay. Now, 
yes, we all wish there was more options in here, but at least this gives you a, a, a place you can actually remove some if you've collected a bunch of sellers over the years. You can actually dwindle down to the ones that really, really keep going. Like Gaming Relics, wonderful place to get stuff from. And that one I'll keep on here probably for the rest of my life. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. And this is how you do it. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.